Now, thank you so much and uh, Kenyans permit me the opportunity to have this statement released uh, even though or however late it is uh, because I understand the opinioneering period had elapsed last week for public participation but this statement is in regard or it's, uh, it's concerning uh, the, our current states as Kenyans with regards the finance bill and the just tabled uh, budget for the coming fiscal year. Now, uh, I wish to read out the following statement. F ladies and gentlemen, fellow Kenyans and esteemed youths, today I stand before you with heavy heart, yet with a burning passion for justice and a fervent call to action. As the vice chairperson of Chuka University Alumni Association, and a youth leader in this great republic, I speak not only on behalf of the people I represent or the youth I represent, but as a concerned citizen deeply invested in the future of this great republic. Tomorrow, our parliament is set to convene and later this week vote on a finance bill that could potentially subject us all to unprecedented uh, taxation, pushing the cost of living to unbearable heights. This is not just a matter of policy, it is a matter of survival. The reality we face today is stark. Our government seems disconnected from the struggles we endure every single day. The people making these decisions are out of touch with the harsh realities that millions of Kenyans, especially youths, are facing. High taxation will not just drain our pockets, it will erode our livelihoods. It will cripple our consumption matrix, making it impossible for ordinary Kenyans to afford basic necessity. The cost of living will soar, and the dreams of countless entrepreneurs and small business owners will be crushed under the weight of these oppressive taxes. The very fabric of our economy, which relies on vibrant cons consumer spending and robust business activity, will unravel. For our youths, who are already grappling with high unemployment rates, this bill is a recipe for disaster. It will stifle innovation, discourage investment, and create an environment where job creation becomes a mirage, our future which hinges on the premise of opportunity and a thriving econ economy will be in jeopardy. We will find ourselves in a vicious cycle of poverty and stagnation with no escape in sight. But today, I urge you all, let us not be silent. Let us not be passive. We have the power to shape our destiny. Let this moment be a lesson in solidarity and action. We must stand together, united in uh, our resolves, to demand a government that listens that understands and that truly represent the interest of its people. Voting is not just a right. It is a powerful tool for change. It is a voice, it is our voice, our stand against policies that threatens our very existence. Let us remember that our future is in our hands, Kenyan youths. Every vote we cast, every decision we make shapes the Kenya we will live tomorrow. All the young people out there, let us rise with courage and conviction. Let us encourage, educate, and empower ourselves and our communities. Let us be the change makers, the visionaries, and the relentless advocates for a Kenya that works for everyone. In these trying times, let our solidarity be our strength. Let us show the world that we are not just passive observers, but active participants in the fight for a just, equitable, and prosperous Kenya. Together we can overcome any challenge. Together we can build a future where every Kenyan, regardless of their background, has the opportunity to thrive. Stand with me, stand with each other, and let's make our voices heard, fellow Kenyans. Thank you, and may we continue to fight for a brighter and better Kenya.
in solidarity with all Kenyans during these tough and trying moments because it, has, it, hasn't, it hasn't been easy for Kenyans in the past days or in the past years. But uh, we call upon each and everyone in solidarity of this matter at hand. Jabuya Lawrence Otieno, Chuka University Alumni Vice Chairperson. Thank you very much. God bless you.